Y'all ever heard of Stan Lee's The Zombie? Bro name is Simon Garf, right? He got this amulet that he wears around his neck. There's two of them. Whoever wear, uh, got the other one controls him, right? But as of right now, somebody ain't got it, and he's on his way to try to go get that motherfucker. They did some voodoo shit to get him in this position. As you can see him running through this damn uh, marsh and this alligator pop up on him, he beat the fuck out of that alligator. The motherfucker can kill but never die. So on his way to go get that other uh, amulet so that he, can, he basically can control himself, right? He gets on this boat. This dude right here was fucking with this coffee shit and he was about to throw it off the edge. That's when the zombie came and knocked his ass out and he went through the fucking, uh, the damn edge. The people was like, man, where the fuck do that? They was like, he probably even went to go get some more coffee or some shit, man. We leaving his ass. We gone. So they left, right? And bro ass right here hitting to the coffee, uh, shit. And he left. So that's where we meet up with this couple, right? Fuck this bitch. Bro was about to die in six months because he got cancer, right? She don't get no fuck. She trying to go to like this little store over here, right? He trying to tell her like, look. I just want to live my life. You don't give a fuck? She's like, look, we said that we agreed that, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to live our life like nothing happened and shit these six months. He said, we decided nothing. You decided that. Cut his ass off. They went to the store. So they met up with this dude right here, right? Bro got to telling her about this amulet, the same amulet that's around the zombie neck and how it controls living uh, the zombie and shit, right? But he was telling her, yeah, you can control the zombie, but there's consequences to controlling that motherfucker. So she was like, all right, tell me about this zombie. His name was Simon Garth, and he was the most successful coffee mag margarine mate in uh, Louisiana. My bad, magnate. Like most such uh, striving men, Garth was not without his share of ruthlessness and greed. It eventually led to his death in a cold Louisiana bayou at the hands of a man named Gibbs, his former gardener. Bro hated being treated like a slave. So he dug up a grave and put his ass there. That's when they forced this girl to fucking do this damn ritual over his body. And that's what brought his ass to come back to his life as a zombie. Then they put that amulet on his neck so that Gibbs can control his ass. It was like, that's a dumbass story. It was like, okay, if there's two with the other one that day, he's like, on the fucking neck of the zombie should be still. She's like, but that means the holder of this amulet, yes, drove in the holder uh, knows the language, the language of voodoo in the ways of uh, whatever the hell that is, all the uh, sacred uh, rites contained in this book as he give her this book. But he tell her ass, telling you, that's a powerful damn power to control. Bro was like, look, I'm tired of all this shit. I'm gone, bitch. If you don't get on this motherfucking plane with me, you gonna have to get your own fucking plane because I'm out. Shorty like, I'll take that shit then. So the damn ship finally makes it to, uh, I guess, New York or whatnot, right? This motherfucker smash out. They're like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, oh. Motherfucker try to stab him, right? That shit ain't do shit. He just take that motherfucker, swing his ass to the motherfucking seat. So we back at dude house. He's talking about some, man, you bringing me, you driving me crazy, shorty. I'm not giving your ass shit when I die. And if I did, all you gonna do is just buy shit like this. She ain't getting no fuck. She's like, speaking of changing your will, dear, isn't Winston due to drop by with the papers tonight? He like, man, what the fuck is the use of me talking? No, Winston is not due to drop it over tonight. I told you three times now. That's next Tuesday. She's like, oh shit, cool. I can perform this goddamn uh, ritual I want to do. I'm going to need you to be a witness. He's like, man, fuck, man. All right, I I'll be a witness and shit. So she out here all in this provocative ass clothing and shit, right? And she get to doing the chanting and the shit, the beating on the drums and doing what she's supposed to do. Then that's when uh, she see he sees something coming out the ground. He's like, hold on, stop. Hey. That shit start coming to the ground and shit. It was a zombie. This motherfucker uh, had a heart attack and died. She goes to the zombie and jump on his ass. So, man, thank God. I thought he had never stopped breathing. The zombie take the mask off. It's the dude that sold her the shit at the damn store. She did all this to get his money. So they had a drink of like celebration, right? But then she poisoned his ass, murked his ass. That's when the real zombie motherfucker came through, right? She's like, oh shit, that's the real one. So she was scared of the motherfucker. Then she was like, oh, I gotta go get that amulet. So she tries to go get that amulet, right? My bad, she ain't get the amulet. She got the gun first. Blah, 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 blah. That's when she realized that that motherfucker was a real motherfucker. So then she grabs the amulet. Tells his ass to back the fuck up. That motherfucker kept coming at her ass though. She's like, what the fuck? So he grabs the amulet, smashes it. That's because the shit was fake. It was thrown into the fireplace. He grabs her ass by her neck and throw her ass into the fireplace as he grabs the damn amulet. So he gets the amulet and then he leaves. 
He is in later stories. This shit came out like the 40s, bro. That's why this shit black and white. But yeah, this Marvel's the zombie.